What is up, everyone, and welcome to the Retro Video Game Pickups Podcast. This is the third podcast of a weekly series that is going to be coming out every Monday, and I want you guys to know that I am feeling a little sick, I'm a little stuffy, so please ignore that in this video. I'm going to try to do the best I can. This will probably be a shorter podcast than the ones before it, just because of that fact, but I'm going to try to run through this and let you guys know kind of what I'm thinking, what's been happening, and what is up with games that are coming out, what have been announced. We're going to talk about some cool stuff that has happened in the past week, and hopefully you guys will be happy, excited about talking about some of this stuff, and other things I hope you are just okay with and not too pissed off about, because quite frankly, some people are pissed off, and I just just don't know why, quite frankly, but we'll get into that. We've got some cool stuff lined up. We've got Obviously, our recent pickups, we've got games releasing this week. we got a whole bunch of Nintendo Switch stuff to talk about. And then uh, talk about some Popeyes to wrap it up, because we've been doing that on the last two podcasts. So I figured out, let's keep that on the docket and be able to keep that kind of in our minds and see where that goes. So, with that being said, this is probably going to be a little light, uh, uh, not a Switch light, but a little bit of a light podcast, just because... I haven't been feeling great, and I don't want to ramble on for too long. So we're, we're going to go right into the podcast here. We're going to start off with some recent pickups. And this weekend, I had the luxury of going to a very awesome local uh, game store called Thrill House Games. If you're in Oklahoma and Tulsa, hit that place up. It's very awesome. I don't get to go over to it very well or very often just because of where it's located. It's kind of far from me, and so I just kind of don't go there very often. It happens uh, that I'll go there every two months or so, but maybe not even that much. But I always end up finding something cool, so I will be talking about that now. And honestly, I got some cool stuff. I love to go to this place, and we always are trying to find the new games from it. Uh, and their deals are pretty good, and so I can't pass up some stuff. So here I've got a uh, Joe Montana 2 Sports Talk Football. I have no clue what this is. It's for the sake of Genesis. I've never played it, but it's complete, and they wanted 50 cents for it. It's a junk, 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 junk uh, Sega Genesis game, but... For 50 cents, I had to pick it up because you guys know I love Genesis games, I love box games, and it was complete, so I couldn't complain about that at all. Then next, I follow suit, I got NHL 96 as well on the Sega Genesis. It is complete as well, and that was only 50 cents. And honestly, I love these old NHL games. You'll hear here later, we'll talk about some new ones, but this one is definitely an NHL game that is fun. If you like those old style retro kind of games, always pick up these NHL games because they're always super duper cheap. Then heading over to the NES, I picked up Metal Mech Man and Machine on the NES. That was about 10 bucks, but it was a game I do not already own, so I'll be adding it to the shelves that I have behind me in the game collection, and we will. Definitely be playing this on the channel, on the YouTube channel, uh, at least at some point. Um, I heard it's not a good game, but for a game that I don't already own, and I have a bunch of them, uh, so I figured I'd pick it up just to see where it went. And I mean, honestly, it's not a bad deal, because I enjoy uh, going to this game store as well. And last but not least, the game that I'm very, very super stoked to have picked up, Me and My Katamari for the PSP. Now this is a game that I've been looking for and haven't been able to find it for a good deal and I found it for eight bucks so I cannot complain there. It's complete um, so I'm very stoked about that. It's got the manual, it's got like a map inside of it or a poster and then it has the game as well so I'm pretty stoked about that. For only eight bucks I'm very very excited about that. But like I was saying I love this game store. Always check out your local game stores See if you can uh, support them in any way. Now, sometimes game stores are more expensive, which is probably why I only found four games here. But honestly, it's okay. Um, Go to your local game store and find out. Figure out whether or not it's good or bad or if their prices are good or bad. So we can have some fun with that. 
I love at least going up there and seeing what they have. They always seem to have a bunch of good stuff, and the prices aren't that bad. They're just prices I don't want to spend. I can wait to find that game that they have in the glass case. And so I just pick up the games that are random that people don't really care about, and it ends up being very good. So those are the most recent pickups. I haven't talked about them on the channel. I probably won't until the end of September. Uh, but I did pick those up and I had some fun with it. If you uh, follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that I did take a picture with that NES game in the store. So go ahead and check that out if you do not already. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All that stuff if you guys are interested. So that is what we're going to talk about for the recent pickups. Let's move right along to the games releasing this week. Moving right along, we talked about recent pickups, but let's talk about games releasing this week. And I have three that I think are going to be very awesome games that you guys are going to want to talk about and pick up. And honestly, there's not a ton that are coming out this week. So this was a very easy list to end up with three because, well, when I looked it up, it didn't seem like there were much. And these were good games. So, the first one is Daemon X Machina. Uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Don't, don't correct me, please. I don't know. I'm sorry. But this is coming on the Nintendo Switch, September 13th, the end of this week on Friday. And honestly, this looks like a fun game. It looks like a mech shooter, um, and, and it looks very awesome. And I will probably end up picking it up eventually. I'm not going to pick it up right now just because... Uh, I've got a bunch on my backlog. You guys know that I'm always playing games and I want to pick up more games. But that is a game that looks fun. If you are looking for a new Switch game, that is definitely one that I think would be a lot of fun. And I would definitely enjoy it if I had that in my collection. So that is the first one I'm going to say. Then the second one we're going to talk about is NHL 19. Not 19. NHL 20. We're in 19 right now. It's already been released. But NHL 20. It's coming out on the PlayStation 4 and on the Xbox One at the same time, September 13th. And honestly, I enjoy these NHL games. NHL is something that I enjoy playing. I enjoy picking up the games, playing them. Uh, I won't pick this one up on uh, launch just because $60 is absolutely way too much for these games. I'll wait six months till it's $12 and I can pick it up complete and I'll be happy there. Because I know these NHL games, people don't buy, and when they do, they return them to like GameStop or something, and I can usually pick them up for a heavily discounted price if I wait the four to six months. And so, I'm not too uh, keen on picking that up right away, but I will definitely be picking this up in the future. I like the NHL 19 and 18 and 17 and 16 and all those going back. I enjoy playing them. I even picked up 96 uh, NHL 96 this weekend, so I think this is a game that I definitely love to play, but I don't love the $60 price tag. So I wanted to bring that to you guys, but let you guys know that, hey, I'm not picking this up right now because it is $60. And the last but not least is probably the game that most people are the most excited about for this list, and that is Borderlands 3 coming out on the PlayStation 4 and on the Xbox on September 13th. Yet again, all those games are Friday, so if you're looking for them, go check them out before Friday and pre-order them or go on Friday and get them. However you want to do that, do that. Honestly, I'm not going to talk much about this because it's a Borderlands game and I love Borderlands and it's going to be a fun one, but it looks like it's going to be awesome. Now, some people are talking about it and they're not sure about it, but I think this is going to be a game that people are very well pleased with. But I don't think it's going to be as loved as the earlier ones in the in the series just because I think people hold nostalgia for those games. Now, don't get me wrong. I love playing Borderlands and Borderlands 2. It's a very fun series and it's absolutely awesome. But I think people are going to like the older ones better than this new one. But I could be dead wrong, and I want to know what you guys think about. Comment down below what you guys think about Borderlands 3. If you're watching this on YouTube or on a podcast, however you're doing it, comment down below or hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram and let me know because I'm definitely interested to see what you guys think about this as a whole. So that is very interesting. Well, we have talked about everything we needed to talk about about games releasing. Honestly, the... Uh, this week is kind of going to be light because I feel like next week they're really heavily uh, loading up some games. You've got 
Zelda uh, Link's Awakening coming out on the Switch. You've got the Switch Lite coming out. I think there's a bunch of cool stuff coming out next week, and I'm very, very excited about that. So, with that being said, we're kind of going to move along and get past this game releases of the week and talk about the Switch Direct, which is probably the biggest topic and, I mean, mostly the big topic of this podcast because, honestly, a lot of people were talking about this, and I wanted to talk about it, but I didn't want to make a full video about it because I know people are like, oh, overrated actor actors and whatnot. I didn't want to talk about that. But I did want to talk about some of the cool stuff that's happening with that and what was released. Now, this Direct was absolutely thrown on us by surprise like a day or two early. No one was expecting it. And I think that's awesome and that's very great because that gives you almost no time for those people to leak stuff or people to make rumors that aren't going to be true that you won't even care about, honestly, in two weeks. So I thought that was kind of cool that they kind of throw this on us right away and the best thing I think we got from this is the Super Nintendo uh, Switch Online games. I have been playing these a ton this weekend. I've had a bunch of fun. I've played too much of Kirby's Dream Man 3 honestly but we're not going to complain at all. I'm going to go down the list, talk about it just a little bit and let you guys kind of know what I think. Okay, so we're cutting to break now, and I want to say don't forget about the sponsor of this podcast, and that is patreon.com slash retro video game pickups. If you've watched or listened this far, go ahead and head over there. You sign up and donate to support this channel, and when you do, you get new tiers, which gets you newer videos new faster, and then you also can get certain perks with that so check that out if you're interested also i have a facebook facebook.com retro video game pickups if you're interested go check that out also twitter retro not retro video game pickups rgvp reviews couldn't get retro video game pickups because that is apparently too long but check that twitter out i always tweet new things tweet stuff from my instagram tweet new videos and all that also last but not least is my instagram I've got a ton of followers, and I'm always, always, always posting for you guys. So go check that out. It is Retro Video Game Pickups on Instagram as well. I've got new content every day and multiple times a day, obviously. I want you guys to go follow, so check that out. With that being said, let's hop back into the podcast. Okay, so we've got some very cool Super Nintendo games on this list. I want to talk about them just a little bit with you guys. We've got Brawl Brothers. We've got... Breath of Fire, Demon's Crest, F-Zero, all of those are very awesome games. And if you haven't played them, I think this is a very good opportunity for you to play them and be able to play them on the go and with your Switch. I think this is going to be a very awesome thing overall. Next, we've got Joe and Mac 2. I've never played the second one, but I played the first one and I loved it. Kirby's Dream Course, what else can I say? Kirby's Dream Course is an awesome game. I even have a box. Uh, on the shelf here behind me somewhere. I've got Kirby's Dream Land 3, which is actually the first game I started playing on this. I've gotten through about a quarter of it, and I'm having a bunch of fun with it. And honestly, I love it. We got Pilot Wings. We got Star Fox. We got Stop Race FX, which is the first time it is on a non-Nintendo, uh, non-Super Nintendo system. So that is something that I find very interesting and very cool, because honestly... It's a new game that is being released on a different console. When I say a new game, it's a game that has only been released for the Super Nintendo. And so it's cool seeing that brought to life other, where, other places. Next, we got Super EDF Earth Defense Force. We got Super Ghouls and, Go Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, obviously, those are both great games and you need to play them. So pick up this Switch Online if you don't already because these are great games. You got Super Mario Kart. You need to play that if you've never played it before. Great game. Super Mario World, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Yet again, I'm talking about games that you should have played already. But if you haven't, now's a great opportunity to do that. And you definitely need to take it up on that. You got set Super Metroid. Yet again, a great game. A Metroid game that honestly is probably one of the best, if not the best. So you definitely need to play that one. You got Super Puyo Puyo 2, which... Is a good game, but I probably won't play it, honestly. You got Super Soccer, which I've played on here recently this weekend. 
And I had some fun with it. I suck at playing, but I had fun with it nonetheless. And I think the same thing rolls around with Super Tennis. I had fun with it. I played it this weekend, but I, I'm not the greatest at it. But I'm not going to complain. It is something that I already own because I have the Switch online. So I'll play it and have some fun. And last but not least, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Now, once I finish Kirby's Dream Land 3, I will move over to Link to the Past and have a blast with it. It looks very awesome on the Nintendo Switch, and I think you guys definitely need to be playing this game. Or one of these games on your Switch, definitely pick these up. They're f free if you already have the Nintendo Switch online. And honestly, I think it's a very awesome thing because honestly, other than the NES games, the Switch online really hasn't been worth all that much. But it's only $20, so I can't complain that much. I feel like a lot of people like to complain about it, but at the same time, it's only $20 a month or a year compared to $60 a year like the Xbox or the PlayStation Online is, so I definitely am very thankful for that. Next, we're going to talk about more Wii U games coming to the Switch with Tokyo Mirage Sessions, hash, not hashtag, uh, sharp FE. I always say that. I don't know why. I shouldn't think that way, but... Hashtag FE is what I always want to say, but I know it is Sharp FE. Uh, that's coming to the Switch, so we're getting more and more of the awesome, great games that are on the Wii U coming over to the Switch. And those are games that I don't think need to be $60 because they were released on another console. But we'll see what happens with that. I think it's going to be uh, overpriced and probably not worth it, but... I also own it on the Wii U, so there's probably why I think that, which is okay. I like seeing these awesome Wii U games being ported over for people that didn't have the Wii U, but the price tag is where it kills me, so I kind of get turned off by that. But that's okay, I guess, if that's what Nintendo and whoever is making the games wants to do. Next, the biggest leak that was coming before this was Overwatch coming to the Nintendo Switch. And this Direct led you to believe that that is what's happening because that's how they opened it up. They opened it up by saying Overwatch is coming to the Switch and I loved that. They opened it up with characters like D.Va playing uh, Overwatch and it just seemed like it's going to be a very good fit for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm interested in interested to see how it runs if it is laggy or choppy or anything like that i can see that being a problem because it is an online game but we'll see how the nintendo switch handles it and honestly i think this is a game that has been long awaited to come to the switch so now that it's going to be here i think it is definitely an awesome awesome thing next we have doom 64 and before we talk about Doom 64, I want you to know that there is a three-pack of Doom games on the Doom the original, the second one, and then Doom, uh, I can't think of what the third Doom is off the top of my head, but go check that out on the eShop, it's there if you want to play Doom already, but they announced that Doom 64 is coming to the Switch as well, and I think that's very awesome. Now, it... It brings me to wonder if this is a era of 64 games to come. Now, it's not coming through a Nintendo online service. It's actually a game you have to go out and buy. So that's one thing that is okay. But it's obviously you can have emulations running on the Switch to play 64 games. So... How long, Nintendo, are we going to have to wait until we get the Nintendo 64 library, or at least a part of the library, released on the Switch, or even a classic system? Either way, people will go crazy and you will print money. So, Nintendo, if you're watching this, which I know you are not, or listening to it, which I know you are not, go ahead and work on that, and people will love you for it. But next we're talking about the last great game that I want to talk about. There's a bunch of other games that are on this list. Maybe I'll run down them. Uh, but Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 is coming, and I'm very, very super stoked about that. I think that's going to be an absolute awesome thing. And honestly, the Nintendo Switch is a great place for that. So I think I'm very, very excited here. Now I'm pulling it up, and I'm going to 
talk about some stuff very quickly. We got Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury coming to Smash Ultimate, obviously. We've got Deadly Premonition 2 coming out, A Blessing in Disguise coming in 2020 on the Switch. We've got Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection, which is Black Flag and Creed Rogue coming to the Switch. So if you like uh, Assassin's Creed, that's going to be a great one for you. We've got the uh, Xplit uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition coming in 2020. We've got uh, Divinity, the original Sin 2 coming. We've got uh, Game Freak's uh, Little Town Hero, which actually looks like it could be fun. We'll see about that. We got a new free-to-play, or at least a free-to-start Super Kirby Clash, which is coming out on the Switch uh, already. If you haven't known, it's already available, so go check that out. We talked about Luigi's Mansion 3, which I probably should have talked about in this video, but I'm not going to. Pokemon Sh Sword and Shield. Yet again, here is some more details. Uh, the curry on rice is probably what came out of that and is the meme out of everything. You got a little talk about Animal Crossing, which people loved and blew up about. I think it's just, um, I'm waiting to see how the game is. I'm not going to say anything else, but I'm waiting to see how the game is, and then I will make my uh, kind of ideas slash uh, my opinions about it. Trials of Mana came out, or is coming out next year. We've got The Return of Orba Din, which looks like a very interesting game. It's a black and white game, so I'm interested to see how that goes. Rogue Company, I'm okay about. And then uh, Tetris 99 is actually getting a physical release, which I thought is pretty absolutely insane. But actually, it seems like it's not a terrible deal if you're getting a year's worth of Nintendo Switch Online with that. That's probably pretty good, so I'm not complaining there. Honestly, there's a ton of talk about with the Nintendo Switch, but the direct about the Nintendo Switch, but that's where I'm going to leave it off. If you guys are interested in more direct stuff, go ahead and go to Nintendo's uh, YouTube channel and find out and watch the whole 40-minute direct because it was a very good one, which leads me to the next thing, the Switch Direct backlash from YouTubers. Now, a lot of YouTubers like to go over the top with things, like to act like what they just saw was like the greatest thing that they have ever seen. And honestly, I think this uh, Switch Direct was one of the top ones, honestly. A lot of people are going to say, oh no, you're just saying that because YouTube and whatnot. Honestly, I believe this is a great one. We got a bunch of stuff leaked. And I say this every time, I love whenever these are released. I get to see new games. And I get excited about the Switch, and it's something that is very awesome. And it's a reason, or part of the reason that the Switch is doing so well, is the marketing and everything that Nintendo is doing. So I think this is very awesome, but I'll give you my honest opinion about it. I think it's an awesome Direct. I am very excited about a lot of these games. Look, we're getting Overwatch. We're getting a new Star... Uh, not a new one. But Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 on the Switch. We got all those SNES games and so much more. I think it was a very awesome one. I think they definitely loaded this one up to give the fans what they wanted. And honestly, I think people are just overreacting about it. Both of the people on YouTube that did actually overreact. And then the people that were overreacting about the overreactors. So I think the Switch Direct was very awesome. And I'm very, very happy about it. Now, I'm going to give you that Popeyes update, and there's no Popeyes update. Why have I not heard about the sandwich, whether or not they got more in stock or not? I haven't heard anything, and so I'm kind of disappointed. I want to try the sandwich. If you guys have listened or watched the other podcasts, you know what I think about it. I'm just disappointed that we haven't heard anything back, or that they haven't come up with more sandwiches. Honestly, why haven't I gotten one of these sandwiches, Popeyes? I'm very disappointed with you. I can go to Chick-fil-A and pick up however many sandwiches I want, but I can't get a Popeye sandwich, and that's a shame. So, I'm sorry this was a short one. I have not been feeling all that great. I'm trying to rush through this without fumbling my words too much, but I want to say thank you so much for watching or listening, and make sure you have a good day.